Hi, my name is Melissa Luoma and I am a registered nurse. Hand hygiene, which includes hand washing and cleaning hands with antiseptic cleansers, plays a critical role in the spread of infectious diseases, even in an older adult's own home. In fact, the most common way that infections are spread are by our hands. The reason that most people claim they don't wash their hands regularly include it causes dryness and irritation, sinks are not located in an easy space to get to, lack of soap or towels, they're simply too busy and don't have enough time, the needs of the older adult are much more of a priority, the belief that there is a low risk of catching an infection from the older adult. You should know that these are not good excuses. Most germs are very easy to pass on. By avoiding proper infection control, you are risking the safety of the older adult. When hands are visibly dirty, contaminated, or soiled, wash with soap and warm water. Either plain soap or antimicrobial soap will work well. If hands are not visibly soiled, use an alcohol-based hand rub for routinely decontaminating hands. Application is key. Let it dry. There is a kill time that refers to disinfectants. This is the time needed for the product to make contact with the surface being cleaned and remain wet. It is dependent on the microorganisms and also the manufacturer. Often hand rubs may cause dry skin. It is helpful to have moisturizer available, especially in the winter. Some specific times to clean your hands include before and after contact with the older adult skin, particularly if there are broken areas of skin, after contact with body fluids or excretions, wounds or wound dressings, whether or not gloves are worn, after assisting the older adult with toileting or changing incontinence products, after you go to the bathroom, before preparing food, after wiping your nose, sneezing or touching your face, when your hands are visibly soiled, it may be necessary to perform hand hygiene between tasks and procedures on the same older adult to prevent cross-contamination of different body sites. When using a hand rub, you should apply it to the palm of one hand. Rub hands together covering all surfaces until dry. The amount varies by manufacturer, but is usually about one tablespoon. Get soap and towel before beginning. Roll up sleeves. Stand back from the sink. Clothes and hands should not touch the sink. Turn on the water with a towel. Water should be warm, but not hot. Wet hands, fingertips pointed down. Put liquid soap on hands and wrists. Rub hands, fingers, and wrists. Rubbing helps to loosen bacteria and dirt. Also make sure to clean between your fingers. Rub hands under the water for at least 30 seconds or sing happy birthday twice. Dry hands with a clean towel. Do not shake your water off your hands. Turn off the water with a towel. Do not touch the sink, faucet, surfaces, or doorknobs with hands after washing. This will recontaminate your clean hands. Put the towel in the hamper or laundry for cleaning. Keep fingernails short, about one fourth inch or shorter. Artificial nails should not be worn when taking care of older adults. Keep a pocket sized container of alcohol based hand rub on you. Place alcohol based hand rubs in the older adult's bedroom and bathroom. Remember that alcohol is flammable, so store these hand rubs away from high temperatures or flames.